A uh, Stewart Middle School math teacher is behind bars tonight, accused of sexual battery on a 13 year old student. We are told they started investigating Jeffrey Tomasulo after girls complained that he was tickling them and making them feel uncomfortable. Deputies say hallway surveillance video shows one girl in particular going into his classroom all alone. Was actually grooming children with the touching to see how far he could go. So how can parents help spot the signs and help protect their children before something like this happens to them? News Channel 5's Andrew Lawfilm is getting answers for us tonight. Andrew? Ashley, when we cover uh, stories about similar arrests, we always hear about that grooming technique that Sheriff Snyder just mentioned. But what does it actually mean? How does that relationship between the student and teacher cultivate and grow? We went to an expert tonight to find out. Jeffrey Thomas Sulo started with touching his 13-year-old victim's leg as she grew more comfortable conversations about her sex life and then oral sex, according to the arrest affidavit. Usually, um, predators, they're testing the water, so it's what can they get away with. Stephanie Myron, a victim's rights attorney, says as a parent, it's important to talk to your kids about what normal is. Predators prey on the vulnerability. If you're not the person having that conversation with your child, someone else is, and if it's the predator, that's even worse, where that's the only source of information is that predator. Starting in January, she started skipping her first period art class, or she would come after school to his classroom, according to court documents. At least five times, she says, he asked her to perform oral sex on him. She said she felt pressure to do it. I think it's important that, you know, to have an open conversation with your child about, you know, any other person in their life, any other adult, even people who are, um, you know, supposed to be people who you can trust. You know, it's okay to speak out against that person. You're not going to be upset with them for, you know, the situation that they're in. Stephanie says at home with your kids, there are signs to watch for. Spending more time in the room, a drop in grades, or eating less. They avoid conversation or eye contact. Those are all red flags that something is wrong, and that's when, as a parent, you need to step in. Now, in the arrest the affidavit at the end, Tom Sula actually confessed to the allegations. He's in jail right now on a quarter million dollar bond charged with a felony. We're live. Andrew Lafoam, WPTV News Channel 5.